everybody. I'm back. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? What's up? How you been? Anyways, I'm up for another challenge to review. So, what do we got on hand? We got the Valoo. Ooh la la. I don't know why I keep saying that. And ooh la la just comes naturally out. Anyways, it's a, it's not a straightener. Although, based off, oh, huh, really can't tell. <laughs> so, yeah, when I ordered it, I thought it was just a straightener. You know, just based by the look, just the pure look of it. Um, but it's actually a volumizer. As you can tell, my hair is kind of falling a little flat. Especially if you go, you know, a day or two or a week or a month without washing it. You know, that's kind of what happens. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to wash it. Anyways, <laughs> I need to get some life into it. So, I just wanted to try this out, see if it's worth the $130 that I spent on it. If not, black. So, based on the instructions, volume is very, is, excuse me, volume is so easy. See instructional video at volume.com. You gotta part your hair normally. Yeah, that's about as normal as it's gonna get. I usually run my fingers through it. Section off the top layer, which, I mean, how much is top? I mean, is it like just right here? Is it like a little? Anyways, all right, we'll figure it out in a minute. Um, you gotta use volumes petite on many under layers of hair as desired. More layers you do, the more volume you'll get. Repeat on the other side, unless you just want lopsided hair. Unclip the layers and enjoy your gorgeous volume. So, let's just do that now, shall we? All right. Oh, see? Looks pretty similar to a normal straightener with the exception of the little teeth in between. So, let's see what the teeth do, shall we? Oh, I gotta push it through. Purchasing new award winning breakthrough volumizing our balloon. Well, you're welcome. Now, before you begin, please note balloon is not for curling iron or crimper. Well, that just kind of brings up one of that. You want to be sure to clamp, to clamp and release when using, or blah, blah, blah. you may want to. Sh okay, let me try this one more time. You want to be sure to clamp and release when using, instead of squeezing and holding it together. Whatever that means. For best results, please read the enclosed manual before starting or visit volume.com. For tips and videos on the video, on, for tips and videos on the best way to use, or we can do it my way, which is the trial and error. Seems to work best for me. Let's see. Step one. Well, first of all, I'm going to take it out of the box. Duh. Alright, so what do we get? It's pretty! Alright, we get the jaw. Oh, oh, oh. It's kind of, that's what it looks like. Kind of like an alligator mouth. Except for an alligator mouth, we need to get some braces because, um, Looks like it won't straighten. Just saying. All right. So we got this straightener in a pretty pink color. We've got some hair clips. We've got a brush and whatever this is. Let's see what it is. My guess. Yeah, just as I thought. This little package thingy to hold it. Oh, okay. So pretty much you just slide it in there and hold it. It's a little carrying case thingy.
right, so we got the basics. Now, let me skim over the instructions. All right, you got the hanging hook, temperature down, on, off, temperature up, lock mechanism. Do not lock until it, until it has cooled completely. Good to know, because I probably would have locked it. All right, Volume has dual vot voltage, 120, 244 international use. Automatically turn off, oh, it automatically turns off after 30 minutes. Good to know. All right, anything important that I need to read? Okay, so if you've got fine, thin, or damaged hair, you need to set the temperature to three, between 320 to 340 degrees. You have normal, medium, healthy hair, it's 340 to 360. If you have thick, coarse, cur thick, coarse, curly hair, you need to set it from 360 to 390. Good googly boogly, that's high. Okay, so we got to unlock it. That's already done. Press and hold the middle round button until temperature LED lights 365. Use the plus button to increase the temperature and the minus button to decrease it. That would make sense, duh. You gotta add more heat or subtract heat. All right, when using Volume, hair vol volumizing iron, or er, iron, right? I don't know. For the first time, select a lower setting and test in one small under hair, under layer of hair. Use only as much heat as you need. Over time, using more heat than necessary may result in hair damage, which we don't want. All right, so let's see. Anything else? Nope, not really. Nope, not really. Next, what temperature should I use? I already read that. I see too much texture poking through the top layers. Brush your hair. No, really, that's exactly what it says. Brush your hair. Volume hair is meant to be brushed. This will diminish the texture, but will leave the volume. Use a lower temperature. Uh, start at a very low temperature, about 250 degrees. Gadu gradually increase the temperature until you see less texture poking through. Okay, note to self. May need to pre-read before I read out loud because I will stumble. Maybe that's the reason why I don't go live very often. Although it can be very communicative. Comical, communical. <laughs> Alrighty then. I like my hair really sleek and smooth on top. Tap. Problem areas lightly with a flat iron to smooth. Well, that solved that problem. Volume hair then style, or in my case, because it's probably flat. Alright. Um, I wonder how... That's a true test. I'm actually going to do my hair and then head to bed shortly after. I'm going to see how well it holds up in the morning. And I'll let you know. I want even more volume. Well, these people are kind of demanding, aren't they? Raise the temperature slightly. Volume temperature can be raised by five degree increments so that you can find the exact temperature that gives you the volume you want. You also might want to clamp it more tightly for slightly longer until you see a firmer print that will give you more volume. Oh, okay. So, I'm pretty sure I need to hurry up because y'all are tempted to fast forward because you're like, okay, who cares about that? I wanna know if it worked, right? Right? Oh, it's just me. <laughs> I can't hear y'all. All right, so, let's do just that. Showering? I like the pretty pink color. I have no idea where this burst of energy came from. All right. Huh, wait, we need to turn it on, don't we? All right, so there's the positive, the start button, and the negative. Pretty simple. And then you've got your temperature set here. you got your lock set here. You've got your hanging hook here. And who cares because we want to know if it works. So, you don't have to hold it down, fortunately. 
Oh, look, look, it's increasing. It's getting hotter. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, I get goofier. I amuse myself. I really do. So, as we wait to reach the maximum capacity, it didn't feel hot. Oh, wait, yeah, I feel the heat. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. We're almost there. Oh, it's already there. 220 degrees. Wow, why can't my oven heat that fast? All right. So, I think it was 360 degrees. 360. I've got medium thickness here, I think. If not, that's what we're going to try today. Yeah, so we're going to do it to 340 degrees. We're going to try that one out. Why don't I start out with the lower volume? Why would I want to start out with it? And be average. No, thank you. I want to go straight to the top. Alright, we got 290, 295, 300. What did I say it was? I don't know. We're just going to go to 350. Sorry, guys. I have short attention span today. And I'm impatient. Oh, there's 350. Alright, so we're going to give it a minute as it attempts to heat up that quickly. Boy, that was fast. Alright, so apparently it's at 350 degrees. Um, I feel a little warmth here, but obviously I can touch it and I still have fingerprints, so it's not scorching hot on the outside, but probably not going to really touch it either. All right. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, how this works, but if you haven't watched any of my videos, first of all, why haven't you watched any of my videos? Well, you can watch them after this, so that's, that's the positive side. They're not live, and if they were, then they're still on there, so you got something to do. All right. But anyways, if you have watched my video, I don't remember where I was going with that story. Go watch my video after this video. You know you won't, you're entertained by me. Why did they staple this? That's weird. All right. So. Let's get some hair up here, shall we? I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Because it just says, I'm going to read the instructions again. Part hair normally. Section off the top layer. What exactly is the top layer? I don't know. So, like I said, we're going to try this out. Let me get some hair. And let's get some, hold on, how am I supposed to do this again? <laughs> All right, so am I supposed to crimp it? Am I supposed to? No, it said it did say crimp it. It says clamp it. How am I supposed to clamp it? Maybe I need to watch the video. All right, so I got the instructions here. Create structure for the underlayer. So we're going to get some hair. Hold this underlayer vertically, which is this one. Okay. From your head and clamp volume scalp. So, we're gonna do this and just clamp it. So, before I clamp it, I wanna talk for a second. You're only supposed to hold for a second or less onto the hair near the scalp and then kind of, kind of a clip it, clamp it out to get volume. So, let's see how this works. I've got crimped hair. I, that feels awkward doing it, holding it up like that. So I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, see? I see how it gets. Okay. I see how it gets volume. Oh, it's hot tamale. Hot tamale. I think you should hold it out horizontally. Maybe that's just my personal opinion. And again, I've never been told that I listen to instructions very well. So, we're doing things my way. It's my channel. So. I'm like, no, no, you need to do it this way. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, guys. I'm trying. All right, so I'm going to clamp it down. Hold it for a second. This is very awkward doing it in the mirror. So for anybody judging me, bite me. 
do it this way. Okay, we do it this way. Clamp, bring it down, clamp, bring it down, clamp, bring it down. Just kind of like teasing my hair, basically. Makes my hair feel weird. Then again, I haven't straightened in a while, so I don't know if that might have something to do with it. I don't want volume on the bottom half of my hair, so I'm just going to go and continue on. I can see how this works. It's not too much different than teasing your hair, except for using heat. And then you're, I think you're supposed to go over straightener if it leaves any too much texture. That's my work. Kind of, it's kind of how my hair looks whenever I get it braided, or afterwards. So you can see it's all flat here where I didn't do it, where I didn't. My hunger and hippo didn't go eating up here, but then it comes down. So. Just gonna do a little bit, see. Oh, I got off you. <laughs> okay. I actually see how this works. See? Just the whole difference. Now will I have the patience to continue doing this? Probably not, because I don't have the patience to do my hair through here. I'll just throw up in a clip and call it a day. See, you guys luckily get to see me prettified. Yes, I said prettified. Where, where you beautify yourself, you know, you do, you do makeup and hair and things like that. You get the prettified version of me. <laughs> I really do need to create a dictionary for the words that I use, like prettified. Will that be a noun? Yeah, no, it'd be a verb. I'm going to go get prettified. Anyways, we're not talking about my dictionary, which will be on the cell soon. I might have to create that. <laughs> so, but I think it works. Just doing a little bit. Like I said, you can see the difference. Granted, my hair is not the cleanest right now. Yeah, I know, Mom. You're going to fuss at me. Hey, wash my hair. Yeah, that's how you sound to me. <laughs> But I'll do that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm dealing with this. So, let's continue doing some more, shall we? really how my hair looks like after I get it done braided or take it out. Well, I know how to get my hair more texture. I'm not sure about using it for volume. I think just more make my hair look funky. How am I going to go to work tomorrow? Yep, this is exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it all the way down. Why? Because I'm worried about that. Trust me, if you know me, this is something I would do normally. It's not just for the video. Ask around. Oh, I don't have friends. Sorry. Um, it kind of gives. It seems like it's drying out my hair a tad bit. So I'm pretty sure just adding some more, a bit of moisture to it, that should work. As far as volume, it definitely works. I just got to probably run through a straightener or, or maybe this is the way you're supposed to do it. Don't do the very, very tip top layer. Do you like kind of like the underneath it? And that way you don't have to worry about straightening it. Like I said, I don't do my hair too often. So as long as what is it going to get? I'm going to go ahead and do this side.
question is, how do you do the back of your head? That's my only question. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to end up with a bunch of burn marks all over me. If I attempt to do it myself. Just shine. But yeah, I can definitely see how this gives you volume. I'm gonna keep it just for a new hairstyle, not necessarily volume. <laughs> like a like a my version of hair crimping. Baby crimping. There you go. It's baby crimping. Clap for me, yay! Okay, maybe I need multiple leaves to be clapping. Told you, I have no idea where this energy comes from. I promise you, I was like ready to pass out like five minutes before this video started. And so, drop it on my energy. The last two seconds I have left. Or ten minutes, however long this video is. I'm not sure. I need to brush my hair probably. So, your snake. Yay, nay. I'm impartial with it. I wouldn't say it's not worth it, especially if you have really flat hair and you do that volume. And I'm not 100% because I'm not against it, but I'm not 100% for it either. But then again, in all fairness, I'm too lazy to do my hair. Just saying. So, I like the pretty color though. I think I might go with my hair like this to work tomorrow. I really will. Also, let you know whether it still holds the volume in the morning after I sleep. And I sleep wild, y'all. I promise you. It's like I'm fighting Casper at night. At least that's what I've been told. I sleep good. Granted, you know, I kind of wake up a little sore here and there from fighting. Now, anybody else in the bed, you know, I can't guarantee that they won't wake up with a black eye or something like that. Like I said, I'm fighting at night. I don't know what kind of dreams I'm having, but so if my hair holds up, but I'll let you know in the comments, well, the comments, the description, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean. Just go read it. I know I'm too lazy to read too, so I have to come up. If it's not pictures, then I'll just skim over it. Probably about this video is about as much reading as I've done recently. Unless it's a good book. Then, but then you have to read the book to be able to know what's a good book. You know what I mean. As far as instructions, I'm not a very big reader. I need the pictures. Like a five-year-old. Like, oh, that makes sense. So, let me know what your opinions are. Whether you like the wild hair. Whether you think it'd work for you, if you want to try it, let me know. Who knows, I may even do a giveaway for it. I'm up for some giveaways. I like doing giveaways. Right. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. I do like reading y'all's comments. I don't care if they're mean, ugly. I have a sense of humor. I will laugh at you. I will bite my tongue and not be rude and use my sarcasm as much as I want to. So that's one small plus. But I will respond back for the most part. I know there's very few that I have not responded back to just because I answered them in my videos and I want you to come watch me. So if I don't respond directly, I will find a way to respond to you in my videos, whether it be live chat or not. But anyways, if you want to see more of me, go check out my other videos over there. My other channels are listed below as well. And I do respond back. Um, I am on Instagram, so I do respond back to those comments as well. And you'll probably see more of my craziness. And I'll see you all next time. Stay jazzy. Thanks, guys.